Hello and welcome to another top 5 here on my channel. We're going to look at top 5 The Legend of Zelda games. This one will probably be similarly short when it comes to actually explanations, so yeah. Number 5 is going to be A Link Between Worlds. It was released on 3DS and it was included some neat different mechanics such as merging onto the walls and solving puzzles for that way and etc. Of course it is somewhat similar when it comes to basic setup when it comes to Zelda games but overall it was just a fun a top down look 3DS game handheld games going back to the nostalgic feel of Zelda essentially. But yes right there. <coughs> Number four, the name of Zelda, the Wind Waker. Wind Waker have this fun, colorful world, in my opinion, and colorful character that makes it stand out more than any other Zelda games, essentially. The character... Well, how they are... The look of the characters are special, in my opinion. They are the enemies look has special and when it comes to actually the world when it is open world but in the water it is essentially a sailing game going between the different islands it's just a fun interesting game with a good twist in my opinion for the Zelda games number three are going to be Majora's Mask Majora's Mask in my opinion is a dark Zelda game that is really fun to play but it isn't high on this list because of its time limit, even though if you can go back in time and start over, start over, start over, it's feels a little bit tedious in my opinion, so yeah. Number two, I'm going to be Twilight Princess. And it is the most recent Zelda game I've played because it was on the Wii U. But I think the dark storyline is really interesting to play. It has some... It, it is essentially a... 3D Zelda game that is a little bit darker, not as dark as Majora's Mask, but it is still a little bit interesting to play because you can become a wolf, which is a neat mechanic, and use that to walk around and attack enemies and etc. And of course, you have Link again, but a little bit more of an adult kind of Link, in my opinion, which stands out a little bit more than the other games, in my opinion. And number one are going to be Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time was just fun, I played it a lot when I was a little. It was one it is one of the games that I that I never finished because it was just fun to play it. I saw a friend finish it but I never finished it by myself essentially. But I just like the world, I like the characters and I just like all the passes and etc all the enemies, all the... All, everything is just interesting in my opinion in that game and it holds up really well in my opinion until the, to this day. That's all for a folks, next time